Yeah, there's no excuses anymore. Place your PV module anywhere you want. Hi and welcome, uh, my dear solar PV fans. I have uh, the living room window. That's the east side of the house. And I have in, in winter, I have uh, beginning of January, mid-January, I have the morning sun here uh, a few hours here uh, after, the, after it passes the house. And the sun is here. And uh, I have for a few hours, I have uh, sunlight and I have production. But I need to uh, bring this, the PV modules onto the, uh, onto the house onto the house wall but what if you have no power plug outside where you can put in your power backwards into the house with a grid tie inverter or on your terrace or balcony what can you do and the company solarmodulegladbeck.de as you can see here it's a German uh, a shop maybe you can get this also international um, I can put it in the video description but it's only a flex uh, a flex conductor Uh, which is uh, yeah like a flexible um, flexible lead so to say which is very flat and you can just put it as a window lead through or window duct um, to close the window and um, uh, yeah it depends uh, mainly on the WAF uh, where you can put the the micro inverter indoors but um, if you show them your production it's now like um, 280 290 watt and the acceptance will be very high because you just save uh, your power and with one module i'm in my home working i'm uh, i'm i'm uh, i'm at zero I, i have zero consumption for a few hours And um, yeah, we will go outside. I will show you how I did this. So here I put my Trina Vertex S PV module, which is a full black module, as you can see, 390 watt peak. And the back sheet is black and the, the frame is black. So um, it's a little bit less powerful than the same with the with a white uh, back sheet because of the heat uh, so here you can see the MC4 cables uh, and I can here connect my um, flat cables and as you can see you need to yeah to play around a little bit here and then finally you can close the window it's a little bit short so if you have uh, if you have more uh, if they have more length to be um, compensated you need longer ones which will be available soon and uh, it's very very stable so it will not uh, uh, not um, you can push you can push it and it will not go out or whatever and here we are connecting the um, the micro uh, inverter so it's just a demo and here is the battery bc01 plug and then we will put on my maestrom wi-fi plug which can measure the um, production and here's the app of the maestrom uh, power switch wi-fi switch and here you can see now 240 watts of power we uh, feed back into the grid and uh, yeah that's really great and as you can see here from outside the sun is a little bit lower at the moment so uh, it changes really quick at the moment uh, we have no sun at all today um, but anyway um, you can see it's not that clean so we have to clean it with isopropanol which is very very good so That, that's it, so easy. Um, you have to clean the module, as I told you, and um, I, I show it here. Um, so please clean it before you use it. This is just a demo. Uh, I could done it better. It's just, uh, yeah, with, uh, with, with water. And um, so isopropanol will do the job for you. And um, yeah, there's no excuses anymore. You can put the module anywhere you want where you have a window or like a door you are not open very often and then you can uh, place it there and you can go through your window or through your door from the balcony um, you can go into the into your flat or into your room and all that what came come in also with no direct sunlight is 40 50 60 watts and that's what you have and at least it can uh, can charge your phones or your devices 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I know the, the microinverter was a little bit oversized, which is 1600 watts uh, um, inverter. So you can also take this one, IE conversion, or one from Hoi Miles or from Day or whatever you would like to have. Um, and um, you can also uh, put the MC4 cable on this uh, window duct and then put your inverter uh, anywhere you want questions critics please put it down into the comment section and please stay safe stay healthy we will see you in the next one ciao bye bye